welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. You're watching this on the 16th, but it's actually the 15th. It's my birthday today. <laughs> my mom put that there. That was made by Gigi. Um, she passed away, I think, in 2006, and she made those out of that. I don't know what that is. That's like that, that plastic that you, I don't know what they do with it, but all my kids have one too. And um, so anyway, um, I don't think we're doing much here other than getting some pizzas. I just found out that my son and my grandbaby will not be coming here. I guess he's got to work overtime or something, um, which really upset me. I was, I struggled to go to sleep last night because you know, when you get older, you don't really care about gifts from your kids. You just want your kids to spend time with you. You just want to make memories with your children. And he also didn't come over. Um, he was unable to on the weekend to see my parents, which was the shame because you know, if you're getting older too, you don't know how, how long you're gonna have to talk to them and see them either. So, um, anyway, so that was disappointing. Kenzie's coming over today, so it will be me and Kenzie and Robert tonight. And I, and um, her, um, I think Ella, Ella will be her, her boyfriend's daughter. And she's like one and a half, so. Um, I think we're just going to have a nice night in. I don't feel like going out. Um, I just, you know, I want to get some pizzas here and and just spend some time, maybe watch a Christmas movie or something, which Robert hates. So uh, that will be a sacrifice for him. But it's my birthday. And I got to talk to my son in South Korea yesterday by FaceTime. So I got to see his face, which always makes me happy. And he was he's such a sweet kid. hes I'm so proud of him. Uh, he's military, for those of you that don't know. And... Um, he said it's cold up there. He said it's like 20 degrees. It's been, and he's freezing because he doesn't have his jacket, which is a mom is driving me nuts. He said his wife sent it up to him, but he hasn't gotten it yet. And um, he has only two hoodies right now. So I'm like, I have a box going to him that I need to get out this week. And then my dad left something here. So I really need to get to the post office either today or tomorrow because I'm at the office on Thursday and Friday. And so I won't be able to get the post office Thursday and Friday so it's got to be today or tomorrow so I need to find a box and I'll start putting that together I also need a shower um I got up this morning and I've got a, I've got a meeting at three o'clock and sit with my boss to go over like 2021 20, goals and so I've got to um I just had to look put together I still have my pjs on I have a little made well um this little cardigan I think is from transcend I don't remember where I got this coin necklace, but I really like it. It's a double layered one. And then I got a little sweater, just a little brown sweater on from Madewell and my PJ bottoms and my slippers. <laughs> That's what I'm wearing today. Um, I just had to look okay, you know, just look decent from the top up. Um, but I am going to at some point hop in the shower. <clears throat> my boss did kind of a cool thing. We can't have a holiday party this year due to COVID. So he got with a, a kind of a famous chef and they are making... Um, braised, I think braised ribs and um, like a whole entree. We got to pick from two entrees and then some kind of a dessert. And I think I was some kind of apple dessert. I forgot what it was. And then um, a bottle of wine and for each family. And so Thursday, we get to pick that up and take that home for dinner, which is really nice. So we don't have to cook Thursday um, and we'll have a really special dinner. And um, that is our holiday celebration from our office. So that was cool. Um, so today on the menu is just going to be probably pizza for dinner and we're going to chill out. Nitro is still drinking wine. Look. He's a little more alert today. He sees daddy coming down. And Nitro is so weird. He just, he doesn't like it when Robert and I hug. He doesn't like it with anybody if anyone hugs in the whole family. I think he gets scared. I think he thinks that, uh, we're hurting each other. I don't know why he does it, but he does it to the cats too in my mouth oh i'm wearing that ring from um rocks box i'm not i'm just borrowing it i'm not keeping this one i don't i don't know if i'm keeping it i'm trying it out so um but yeah he he gets weird whenever we hug and he starts to like bite things he just bit my sweater to get me away from robert so he always bites me what the hell you're helping kenzie ella <laughs> Kenzie making a pretty house. Oh, that's all my phone. You got Kenzie's phone. Who are you calling? Oh no. You gonna call somebody? The roof just came off. The roof. 
The roof is falling off. Mom. Uh oh. Here, give Kenzie her phone. What are you doing? Oh no, don't take that apart. Can you pick that up? Here. Oh jeez. <laughs> All this stuff. I don't know what this is. Like attachments for that thing. And Nitro won't leave her alone. What do you want to do, baby girl? This is what Robert got me for my birthday. It's a massager, which I need. It's charging right now. What do you want, Ella? Oh, our pizza's here. Oh, birthday food arrived. <laughs> Kenzie's Ipsy came in. This is just the regular Ipsy, so I figured I'd show you guys. So this is like a contour blush. Um, it's really beautiful. I think I would like that. I don't know if she wants it or not. If not, I'll take it. But Overtime Contour and Blush Duo. I don't know if I've ever heard it, this brand. It's Complex Culture. Yeah, right there. I, I don't know if you guys have heard of that. Let me know if you haven't. Um, this I have heard of. I believe um, the Ico. This is the Rock Out and Lash Out. I don't think I've used this one from them, but they I really love Ico's um, mascara, so I assume that's probably really good. And then she got this here in like a brown for your eye, like a brown pencil. And then we know that these are very, very expensive. This is a three-phase anti-blemish booster. Um, she looked at this, but she had the baby today, so she didn't take any of it with her. And then, of course, this palette by Fireside, um, or by IBY Beauty, Ibby Beauty. Very pretty. Really, really beautiful. You got some fun shimmers in there and some mattes and... I like the color story on this. And look at how cute. Below Zero, Snow Bunny, Hot Cocoa, Nippy, S'mores, Evergreen, Hoodie, Cozy Up, and Black Ice. That's a cute palette. So anyway, that was her main one. I think she got her big one too. We don't get all of them every month. The nice thing about um, Ipsy is you don't have to be a basic member. And like with BoxyCharm, you've got to be a basic and then if you want the boxy lux, you've got to get premium. And so you got to get all, like, you got to get them all. But like here, you can just say, you know what? I just want the, the big box and you can just get that. And they're doing some changing. So this was the basic box that just came in here. And then I'm going to see if I, if she has it here, I'm going to show you the big box. So she does have her big Ipsy here, and I'll have Kenzie's link below in case you guys want to order an Ipsy for yourself. They've been, I've been impressed with Ipsy. Um, actually, I'm really impressed with my Boxy Charm. I got my Boxy Premium and my Boxy Lux in, and I liked both a lot. So um, I will show you guys those, but I think what we're going to do with that is actually do a Get Ready With Me because we got a lot of stuff. Um, so this is a pomegranate facial serum by the Cottage Greenhouse. And with orange and lavender, beautiful packaging on this. Let's open this and see what this is. For, for mature to dry skin. She does not have mature or dry skin, so that is probably something that will come to me. But I am using a special serum right now, so I am using that exclusively for a little bit. I'm actually already seeing some changes in my skin, so... I'm excited to keep using it and see how it, how it goes. All right, and then she got something by Laboratories Florja Paris Youth Performance Optimize. This is a intensive revitalizing three-in-one eye, eye contour cream for dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines. Again, she has none of that because she is like 20. So I gotta check, maybe she's got Maybe we need to update, both of these are for like more mature skin, so I'll have to update her, make sure her box is pr appropriate for her because um, she shouldn't be getting sent stuff like that. She should be getting stuff sent for a 20 year old because we it's supposed to be personalized. So this is nice. This is a mini ice cream flavored wash off mask set, mask set called Mini Scoops. I do care. I saw that she was getting this. She got mostly skincare this time. This is really, really cute. So I'm gonna take these out and show up. So I just dropped one and hold on, it went everywhere, hold on. 
Okay, so it's a set of three little masks. This one is Cake My Day, it's just a little wash off mask. This one says, it's a brightening wash off mask, very groovy. And this one is Matcha Mood Soothing Green Tea wash off, wash off mask. What a cute little like set to take with you. Um, I like the whole concept of this being like the little ice cream scoop colors and stuff. So this is adorable. This would be, that's totally right up her alley. So that's cool. She also got something from Milk Makeup. She got a Koosh Lip Glaze. Nitro snorting, just in case you hear him. He's, he's, I'll show you. Oh, now you're gonna stop? Nitro? Don't pretend you weren't just snorting and making noise. <laughs> what are you doing, bad dog? That's what he does when I put new, new like blankets or anything. He goes crazy on them, just like this. He's such a weirdo. What are you doing, bad doggy? All right, back to our regular program schedule. So this is just a lip glaze from Milk Makeup. I don't know if it has any color. Nope, it looks like it's just like a clear, clear? Can't get it out, it's like, oh yeah. It's just like, um, like a lip gloss. She won't care. Mm, it's got peppermint like a tingly peppermint. All right, the case that she got this this uh, month was this right here. She didn't, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah, she did, I had it on there. It was a pretty red velvety one. Um, she got a Nomad palette, Intense Eyeshadow palette, Nomad Cosmetics Italy, Toscana. So here's what this looks like. I don't think, I don't know if she opened this to take a look at it. So let's look. Again, I am dealing with one hand of painted fingernails. I didn't do the other hand yet. Oh, this is pretty. So this is definitely a very warm palette, very beautiful, and it's in, it's all um, embossed. That's really pretty. Really pretty colors. She likes these colors. These colors look good on her too, because she has blonde hair and blue eyes, and so these colors always look really nice. They bring out the blue when she wears them. So that's good. What else is in here? She got, they get a lot. Matcha Detoxifying Face Mask by Milk Makeup. But I noticed she got an awful lot of skincare, more skincare than she needs. I, so I, I'm gonna go in there and update her account. So this is what that looks like. And I think it's like a roll on, yeah, it's a roll on mask that you put on let it dry and then rinse it off. I have not tried, or, sorry, Nitro. Um, I have not tried the milk masks. So you guys, if you've tried them, let me know if you like them. So that was one. She got a lipstick by MAC, which she'll never use. It's in Sweet Sucura, which looks like a red. I think this is a pretty holiday red. She doesn't wear lipstick either. So I need to change this for her. Oh yeah, that's like a bright, bright red. I would wear that during the holidays. It's really pretty. It, um, it's really pretty, but it's, she doesn't wear any lipstick. She would never wear that unless she was wearing like a costume or something. All my makeup is almost gone for the day. I didn't have really heavy use on me earlier. I didn't have really heavy makeup on anyway, and I'm getting ready to go to bed. My hair's been up all week. I haven't really had it down much because I've been home and it's in my way. And I don't know. I haven't felt much like getting ready. Nitro, that's enough of you. That's enough of you. Then she got Nothing is Impossible by Real Her. Um, probably a foundation brush, I'm guessing. That's a nice, like, it's a nice brush. And it says on the back, Nothing is Impossible. And they always have really, like, positive motivational sayings on all their products. Um, then we got a Hydration Refreshing Gel Moisturizer by H2O Plus. She's starting to use a moisturizer because when she uses something for her skin for like acne, it dries out her skin real bad and I said, you need to use a moisturizer. She also got this um, hair mask, which I do think she'll use by Oblifica called Seaberry. It says it's for all hair types. I've never heard of this but I love hair masks. I love, love, love them. I think they're great to do to really kind of deep condition your hair. 
So I think she's gonna enjoy that. And then one more item in here is the Milani Make It Last Matte Finish um, Spray. It's a matte charcoal setting spray. I think I had this and I used all of it and it was pretty good. I'm not so much for a matte look, but she has oily skin, so she might really like this just setting spray. So that was her, both of her Ipsies. Um, I wanted to make sure I showed you guys everything so that anything she wants, we can go ahead and she can go ahead and take them and start using them. They give you a lot and they really give you a lot. So they always seem to give you a lot more items than like the, um, the stuff that you get when you do the, the BoxyCharm, but BoxyCharm gives you more expensive items. You might get fewer items, but they give you more expensive items. So, all right, I gotta find my, the house got kind of tore up with um, Ella here. You know, she's into everything. Um, she wants to see how everything works. She was so funny. She got the water, like I have a little squirt, like mister for my plants, and she kept squirting the dogs but she kept squirting herself in the face because she doesn't know how to do it and she'd squirt herself in the face and then she would giggle she thought it was so funny so her face kept getting all wet her little shirt got wet i said i asked Aunt kenzie if she had an extra shirt for her, and she said no and i said she's got her little shirt all wet so she would let me wipe her little face off and then she'd spray her face again and she'd go like this and she'd start laughing it was so funny she's a cute little girl so, all right, let me find my advent calendar. Oh, and let me give you guys an update on today and Rocky. So I called my mom first thing this morning. She said Rocky slept in between her and my dad all night. He was playing and purring this morning and settling in really well. He has not met their other two cats. Their other two cats don't even know that the, that Rocky is there yet. Um, I told my mom, do not just inter do not just walk it up and hold the cat up to your cats. It's not going to be good. And let them smell each other for a period of weeks underneath the um, underneath the doors. Let them play with it, you know, paw at each other under the doors and things like that until they get used to the smell. Because there's going to be hissing involved when you introduce a new cat into um, a home with other cats. It takes a while. She has never done that, so I suspect as soon as she introduces them, she's going to tell me, this isn't working, then my cats are never gonna like him, but they will, it just takes some time. So I'm gonna have to kind of help her with that, but he's doing really well. She said he seems com more comfortable today and happy, and um, I think he can take his cone off tomorrow. So I was really happy to know that he's doing as well as he is, because boy, you guys know yesterday, my heart was broken over him, so. Um, all right, so let me go get that advent calendar and I'll be right back. All right, you know what I found, found, forgot we had was the Ardell Wispies and we have 12 days of Wispies, which are the eyelashes and Ardells are my favorite. So I'm gonna go open one and two because I know when it's my birthday, it's 10 days till Christmas. So let's go ahead and find one. All right, so one is here and two is here. It looks as bonus adhesive. I'm glad they give you adhesive because you need it. <laughs> oh, those are pretty. See, I love their wispies because they're always, these are long, but they're always just like light and airy. I don't like the really thick ones. I feel like it looks like a caterpillar on your eye. Those are beautiful. So let's see what number two is. These are darker and shorter. So let me show it to you so you can see. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm getting stuck. So these are the ones that, these are two and these are one. So one, well, I like one longer. I like these like kind of longer wispy ones. And these are a little bit shorter, more together. So two different styles. And let's put them in there until we use them. And I'm not gonna take the glue out <laughs> right now. So this is a really great gift if you know somebody that loves wearing the falsies. I only wear them um, for like holiday parties and events or, or sometimes like when I'm doing a get ready with you guys, I'll wear them for filming and stuff. Um, I do really like how they look, but I do prefer the ones that look a little bit more natural. My eyelashes are short on the bottom, but the tops are pretty long. So even when I add, add wispies to them, most people don't know that I'm wearing them. They just think they're my regular lashes and that is what I want. I want them to look natural. All right, so now what day are we on? It's number 16, which is right here. I tried to get a tea advent calendar and that did not work. Um, I couldn't get one delivered to me on time. But we are gonna open that brew tea. Ooh, this is pretty. This is another eyeshadow and it's a beautiful bronze called Golden Bronze. 
me open it. Hold on. Look at that. Really pretty. Let's swatch that baby. I got, sm I got smushed um, makeup on me from that lipstick. But here's the color. Isn't that pretty? That's a beautiful color. I think I have the other one up here too. Maybe I tried. We might have moved to that other one. There was like a really pretty kind of like a taupey silver that we got as well, if you guys didn't see it. So that's pretty. All right, so let's look at this tea. I gotta get some details on this. I'm gonna have the link for you guys in the description box so that you can sign up if you want. Um, it's not that expensive, but it um, I don't know what it comes out to US currency, because I think in the UK it's like 10 bucks. And it would be probably a little bit more for us here, but that's not a bad price at all. And um, I can't get it open. These little tabs didn't, didn't work. Oh, because maybe I'm opening it wrong. Yeah, let's try it the right way, Terry. Okay, so it looks like it might have some information in it too. So let's see if we can get this all out of here. What's that? Don't know what that is, hold on. Nitro, go lay down. This isn't for you. He is driving me nuts today. It's one of those days. Did I get it all? Yeah, okay. Go lay down. Alright. Everything sort of fell out. It was all packaged nicely. Oh, look, it was a clip. So look at they have these tiny little, how cute are these? These tiny little clips. Um, this is Spring Beginnings this particular one it says on the back spring beginnings then we have black tea kta black tea ktda it just says black on it and then we have orange ice cream tea this is a fruit tea how fun is that maybe i'll make a cup of that right now and then we have this one, which is just, I don't know, it just says discover and it's just a cup of tea. So I don't know what this one is. Oh, this might be, oh no, this little guy goes to here. This was the spring beginnings. I like that they have, do they have information on the back? Oh, they sure do. They have little information. So this is a premium gourmet blend of green, white, and Pau Mau Tan teas. The scents from the initial opening become more prominent in the steeping stage. A desirably green with fruity kicks throughout, the palette is teased by a fruity aroma that makes the tea blend a rare, a real specialty. The combination of different fruits flatters the smooth, fresh taste of the white tea. That's awesome. And then it talks about where it's from. This comes from Japan. So each of these has a card. I'm gonna keep it with it. How cute are these teas? Oh my goodness. And I guess, I think this is, yeah, this is loose tea. So you, I have a steeper and you're gonna steep it. All of these I think are loose teas. Yeah, so how cute. And each month you get three new teas to try. One of these will make quite a few, like one of these you, you don't need a lot of loose tea um, when you're steeping tea. So one of these will make quite a few um, you'll probably get, you know, four or five, six cups out of each one of these packets. And then also we got the extra one and then we got a kind breakfast bar, which is awesome. I'm going to save that for tomorrow. This is blueberry almond. I love kind bars. So that's a fun little treat. So you can make a cup of tea and have your little breakfast treat. And it looks like, um, Oh, these are like little coupons or something. So awesome. So we have all of this stuff here. And then what is this? Turkey. Okay, so it says inside your golden discover sachet. Okay, so we, that is this. So I wonder if this comes every month. You'll find the Turkish Rise from Hemsin, a small town of district of Rise province in the Black Sea region of Turkey. 57 kilometers from the city of Rise. Turkey is the world's biggest consumer of tea, where it is quite normal to be offered a glass of tea at the bank, hairdressers, and even the dentist. Can you imagine going to the dentist and getting tea? 
Um, and it says, despite its popularity, tea only became the beverage of choice in Turkey in the 20th century as an alternative to coffee, which was made expensive after World War I. Tea is prepared using two stacked kettles called candy leak, where the water is boiled in the lower chamber. I probably said that wrong. Candan leak? I don't know. And then some of the water is used to steep the leaves in the top, producing a very strong tea. The remaining water is used to dilute the tea to the individual's taste. Tea is drunk from small glasses to show the tea's color with cubes of beet sugar, and it is seldom taken with milk. The region of rice has an unusually wet climate, which produces a fantastic black tea characterized by its rich red color. Plantations began to flourish in the fertile soils as new generations of tea drinkers decided to venture into the tea production business. Sometimes the tea is blended with apple, rosehip, and linden flower for medicinal purposes. How cool is this? So, and here's what they were calling, how they steeped the tea in these little things right there. And you can see the tea is red and it's from Turkey. So that is really cool. So next, next month it says we visit Iran. Very, very cool. How fun. I love trying teas from all over the world and I love trying new teas. So I think real quick, I'll brew something that doesn't have too much caffeine in it. Let's see if it tells me what the caffeine level is in these. Sweet taste of vanilla. Think ice cream on a hot day. Couple that with tangy apple and you have a delicious brew. That's what I was thinking of maybe doing because I know black tea has a lot of caffeine in it. Maybe I will do what's this spring morning one. Green and white tea. I think I'll do this little fruit tea. So I will make a cup of this. I'll be right back and let you know how it is. Okay, first of all, this orange ice cream tea smells like a orange creamsicle. It smells amazing. Amazing. Oh my gosh, that is such a great smell. If that tastes anything or even half as good as it smells, we're, we're gonna be in good shape. It's a little bit too hot. You can kind of see it, it's steaming. I have these little bags, so I put um, some of it in there and I'm letting it steep. And I did put one Splenda in there. So we'll try that in just a minute. I do want to read a little more. I promise you guys I'll read a little bit more of the greatest secret and we can end the video on that and then I will try to um, take a sip of that by the time I am done reading. So let's see what it says. This is chapter two. So close you can't see it. So subtle your mind can't understand it. So simple you can't believe it. So good you can't accept it. And that I guess that's a, from a book. Why is it so few have discovered the truth? Why haven't the majority of us realized who we are? How can billions of people have missed something so vitally important to our happiness? We've missed discovering the greatest secret because of one small obstacle, a belief. Just a single belief has prevented us from making the greatest discovery we can make. That belief is that we are our body and our mind. You are not your body. We came into this world to be a body in order to learn that we are not a body. Lester Levinson from Happiness is Free. So this is confusing so far, so stay with me. Just as you use a car to get from one location to another, your body is a vehicle you use to move around and experience the world. If you have a car, you do not say you are the car. Why then, if you have a body, do you say you are the body? Being material, your body isn't conscious. It doesn't know it's a body, but you know it's a body. Your toe doesn't know it's a toe. Your wrist doesn't know it's a wrist, your head doesn't know it's a head, and your brain has no idea it's a brain. But you know each and every part of your body. How could you be the body when you know all the different parts and yet not one of them knows you? It's probing questions like these that enable the great beings of the past to unravel the mystery behind who we really are. The worst habit we have gotten into over the millenniums is that we believe we are this body. We have forgotten that we are and we have identified ourselves with objects. I am this body, therefore I am going to die. You fear that if the body isn't, then you are not. Believing you're just your body creates the biggest fear of humanity, the fear of death. When your body dies, you fear you will no longer exist. It's like a dark cloud hanging over your life. If you want immortality, stop holding on to the body. 
it's good news that you're not your body because your body is going to come to an end one day as all material things do. The world is completely made up of material things and not one of those things will last, including your body, which appears and disappears through the process of birth and death. What you actually are never, what you actually are never dies. That's good news. What truly, what you truly are cannot die. The body will die, but the body is not what you are. We have free will to identify with the body or identify with who we really are. Body equals pain and what you are equals infinite joy. Your way out of all the dif difficulties begins with letting go of the belief that you are your body. You are not your mind, kind, I can't read what that says. The voice in your head is not you, yet you've probably believed it is you for, the mo for most of your life. While the voice in your head sounds like you, seems to know a lot about you, and has become very familiar to you, it's definitely not you. That voice in your head is your mind, and you are not your mind. The mind is a collection of thoughts that constantly appear and disappear. If there are no thoughts, then there is no mind. Mind is only a thought. Check for yourself. Where is your mind if there is no thought? Your mind isn't there. There's nothing inside but thoughts and feelings, memories and sensations, but you are a thought. Are you a feeling? If you were a thought, let's say a frustrated thought, then you would disappear when the frustrated thought disappeared. You are not a thought, a sensation or a feeling because when they end, you would end too, but you're still here after they end. You are here before a thought, you are here before a feeling or a sensation, and you remain perfectly intact after they've gone. It's fairly obvious when you look at it. Certainly we do experience thoughts, feelings, and sensations, but we are none of those things. In some ways, it's easy to understand how we've missed seeing who we really are because the body and mind are a very convincing combination. Our mind keeps up a constant tirade of thoughts, most of which include the word I, as though the mind is us. And you may be surprised to learn that all your bodily sensations come from the mind too, which reinforces our belief that we are our body. Hold on. Okay, I'm taking a sip, a break. This smells so good. Mmm. Oh, that is definitely fruity. That is so yummy. Definitely can taste the orange and something else in there. I don't know if it's apple. I don't know what it is. It's really, really good. It tastes like a dessert. It doesn't even taste like tea. Like, it doesn't taste like my morning tea with caffeine. It tastes like dessert in a cup, like a hot dessert. Mmm. Okay, so I'm not going to read too much more of this because it takes a little bit long to get through it, but it says, um, where were we? How others see you contribute to your sense of self. When things happen, they seem to happen to you or you may bring them about. You care what happens because of its effect on you. You hold yourself with a wish to keep yourself safe and in good light. You certainly do seem real. If not, it's not that you don't have a body and a mind. It's just that they are not the real you. Just like your car, they're simply finely tuned instruments you're using to experience the material world. Identifying with the body and mind is the only thing that is covering, covering up who you truly are. It's this misidentification that is veiling your true self. Considering all the effort given to bolstering the ego, the emphasis on self-esteem, reputation, achievement, physical appearance, material acquisition, it's a miracle awakening ever happens at all. The ego, the imagined self, the pretend self, the separate self, and the psychological self are a few of the names that teachers and sages have given for our mistaken identity. All of these descriptions refer to a body and mind that together make up what we call a person. When we refer to ourselves, most of us are referring to this person that we think we are. There's no such thing as a person. If you say, I'm a person, then you have to say which one. There was a baby once upon a time, there was a teenager, there was a toddler, and then this whole process will be over soon. Your personality is constantly changing. So if your personality is you, which person are you? Are you the angry person, the loving person, the frustrated person, the irritated person, or the kind person? You probably think you're all of them, but you can't be all of them because if you were, the angry person would never disappear. It would always be here. Or if the frustrated person were really you, then the frustrated person disappeared a bit of you would disappear with it. But that doesn't happen, does it? You're here before the angry person appears and you're here after the angry person disappears. You're here before the frustrated person appears and you're here after they disappear. 
Clearly, you are not your changing moods or your personality. That's a good thing. <laughs> personality is a useful tool, but it cannot define who you are. Who you are lies far beyond who you think you are. All right, guys, I am going to stop there to give you a little food for thought for the evening. I am going to finish up my tea. If you missed the first part, I will link that video. Uh, this is the book, The Greatest Secret, and it is linked in the first video. I'll see if I can link it if I have time in this one. And I will link the two Ipsies. Um, well, I'll link the link for um, Kenzie's Ipsy if you want to get Ipsy. So, and you do personalize, you take a quiz and personalize it for you so that you're getting items that you like. But she got a lot of like old people's skincare, which would be better for me not so great for her. So I have to go in and change her profile. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I will see you in the next one tomorrow. Have a blessed day and stay safe. I'll see you guys all soon. Bye. Guys.